Two mothers are sharing their stories of heartbreak after delivering stillborn babies. Every year in the U.S., there are 24,000 stillbirths. A group in Omaha is looking to help other families who have experienced the same loss. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Shante Passmore is live to tell us more about this effort. Shante. Matt, experts say nearly two-thirds of stillbirths are unexplained due to very little research. Despite that and the statistics right here in the metro, two women are offering support to families who've experienced this same pain. It's difficult to say hello and goodbye to your daughter in the same day. New Year's Day, 2012. It's a day Angie Butler will never forget. I constantly replay in my mind the events of that day and it's it's the memories that, that, that's the only memories I have of her. Doctors delivered a stillborn child, Betsy. In her loss, she gained a friend, an Amy Kent, who also could relate. Yes. I experienced uh, our loss five years ago with our son Finnegan. Um, and we were 38 weeks along and found out he, his heartbeat had stopped. Later, the moms had more children, but still they realized they needed to do something to honor their firstborn children. Last August, they launched the walk, Let's Not Be Still Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness. The walk is associated with Star Legacy Foundation, um, which is a foundation located in Minnesota. The foundation hopes to explain this medical mystery. They essentially raise money um, um, for stillbirth education and um, awareness and research so that one day um, all the efforts will pay off to eventually just eliminating stillbirth altogether. Recently, Kent joined the foundation's board. Both moms hope a chapter could develop here. I think it's important to know that you're not alone and there are people that are out there that are willing to help you and to... Now the mothers organize a walk over the weekend, but they tell me this is an ongoing discussion when it comes to stillbirths. To learn more about their awareness campaign, we'll have a link with the story at KMTV.com. Live in the studio, Shante Passmore, KMTV, Action 3 News is midday.